This is an interesting one, right? The Trequartista. We're going to call it Trek for the sake of this video and my sanity and my pronunciation skills. As always, two modern day examples of the Trek. Ronaldinho, AC Milan, Barcelona, PSG. Big Lionel Messi, the Barca legend. Why are these the examples? Flair, every attacking ability you can think of with very, very little expectation to do any defensive work. That's the theme of the Trek. Let's get into it. All right, the mythical Trekwarista. Now I even pronounce it wrongly, so I'm just gonna call it a Trek for the sake of this video. So what is a Trek? So if we look at the description in game, like we always start with, read these guys, read them when you create your tactic. The Trek can operate in attacking midfield or center forward positions. So right high up the pitch. Similar to the advanced playmaker, which is why we've got that up there. He drops in the holes between the midfield and defense, so in the little pockets. But the Trek does far less defensively and drifts around looking for space when the team is not in possession. So if the midfielders and the opposition have got the ball, etc., don't expect the Trek to go Harry in him. So remember that because that'll come into your way of playing. Now, the difference with the advanced playmaker is if you just look at the descriptions there immediately in the instructions your advanced playmaker doesn't ease off tackles like your trek does he doesn't move into channels as much as the trek does and he'll, he'll have a greater responsibility in the defensive areas he still drops into the holes in between the opposition's midfield and defense but when he doesn't have the ball he will drop back a bit and supply a bit more graft to the team so that's something to think about when you decide on which way to use the role. To show you the Trek, why not use one of the greatest players of all time, right? Lionel Messi. So I've got the Trek is key attributes highlighted as far as the game's concerned. So technically wise, it's what do you expect from the player that's going to be your main attacking focal point? You've got dribbling, you've got finishing, burst touch, passing, technique, mentals, you're looking at your vision, your flair, decisions, all that sort of thing. Interestingly, if you've got your physicals, and if you look at mental and the teamwork, it's not highlighted. Work rate's not highlighted. Under your physicals, it's all about attacking physicals, meaning acceleration, agility, balance. It's not a lot there about your stamina, your strength, or your jumping reach, or your natural fitness, because they're not gonna do the work. They're not gonna put the work in. They're gonna be basically floating around in that final third of the pitch, purely with an attacking mindset. Now the flip between that and an advanced playmaker, we highlight the advanced playmaker roles there. You see there's only a slight few that change, but there's a key few. So finishing is not a bigger deal for the advanced playmaker because he's not expected to get as high up the pitch as a trek. And teamwork comes into play when you're advanced playmaker because you're expected to do more defensive work. So your trek is really a luxury player. Whereas your advanced playmaker and the other attacking midfield roles are gonna do a bit more for the team. So when setting up your tactic, if you're gonna be a high pressing team, such as Liverpool, such as City, the Trek's not going to get involved in it. My good friend JD said he wouldn't get on with the Trek because he wants work rate in his team. Trek is not going to give you work rate. He's purely there to cause havoc in the opposition final third. And when he loses it, or his team loses it, he ain't coming back. He's just going to chill out, look for space, purely from an attacking mindset. All right, so formation-wise, when you're thinking about it, you really want to consider him as a total bonus player. So if you've got a workman horse team, it's probably, believe it or not, the ideal formation. So if you've got less creative midfielders, your Trek can really come into his own there because he's going to be the main focal point. Now to make sure he's the main focal point, I would probably avoid having inverted wingers or inside forwards, purely because your Trek's going to want that entire space. He's going to want to be the key man in the final third and he wants to float everywhere. If you've got inverted wingers and inside forwards coming into his space, he's going to be less effective. And we all know that number 10 role, the attacking midfield role, is quite a hard one to master in FM20. But in FM21, we're expecting it to be amped up a bit. So it could be a key role. So a formation like a 4-2-3-1, which is incredibly popular, your centre midfield players should be a bit more defensive minded Ball winning midfielder, winning the ball back, laying it off to your more creative player, which in this case would be the Trek. Deep line playmaker, holds back a bit more than an advanced playmaker, and he'll ping the balls to the wingers and the Trek. So, key points for a Trek formation, 
is don't have players in his space. So some in-pitch action of a trek. Now I've got OR, formerly of Leon, so I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, highlighted. He's in my trek role in this game that we play against Espanyol as a test. We also won the game 7-0, by the way, so it shows that formation can work. Granted, we have Barcelona, but... So if we play on, you'll see our OR, not interested at all. He's not interested in tracking back. He's leaving his winger there to do the tracking back while he's just chilling in the centre of the pitch. He will do a little bit of closing down, but not a great deal. Like right there, he'd expect him to start closing down, but he's not closing down because that's not what he's about. Now he sees an opportunity, but he's not exactly breaking a neck, is he? And he just holds back, so he's still not in their face, so he's not going to fit into a pressing formation. As the ball comes back to Barca, that's who we're using by the way, Barca, you can see him suddenly come alive and he's in the gaps. Now he starts off centrally towards the right. As the ball moves around, he starts getting interested now, look. Moving around a little bit, dropping off, so he's not always going to break connect to be in the box. That's what's different from a trek to an advanced midfielder, uh, attacking midfielder, sorry. He'll drop back a bit, he'll wait for the gaps. He's all about the gaps. He's still waiting, he finds the ball now. This is where his flair and his passing and his vision comes in. Little ding to the left hand side. Again, he drops back rather than bombing into the box. If he was an attacking midfielder or an advanced playmaker, he may well dive in the box after releasing Alaba there. Instead, he holds back a bit, asks for the ball again, gets it again, dinks it off again, sits back, looking for space. So he'll always look for space. So what that lesson is, you're not going to rely on him to be in the box. So you're going to need a good striker to be in the box with him because the striker's going to do the work in the box. He's going to flow all over these areas here. These areas are going to be your Trek's main key points. He's going to float around everywhere. Even when the shot goes off, he's still floating on the edge of the box. So he's not going to break an X to get in the box. He's not going to break an X to close people down. But if there's space in them areas and he's struggling to break down a team, he could be key because he'll find the space and he'll make things happen. Same game. Same game, similar example, okay, there's OR there, hovering, hovering, he's letting Alaba do the donkey work down the left, he's letting Griezmann, who's playing out wide, come inside for him, and cover that area while he hangs back this time, because he's a free spirit, he'll go where he wants, asks for the ball, gets the ball, thinks about the shot, doesn't see it, lays it back, passes it on, hovers around that creative area, still there, look, still there hovering around. Now bear in mind, when I'm setting up this formation, he's the second most advanced player in my team sheet after the striker, but look how far back he is. Because he's that far back, because he's, he's looking for the space. Finds it again, this time gets a bit more interested, lashes one towards goal, just wide. So again, these areas here is where he's going to operate mostly, rather than in here. So you need to remember that when you're setting your team up. Your you striker, you're going to need a good striker to play with a trek, and you're going to need good support from out wide for him as well and attacking midfielders because your Trek's just going to hover all over this place here. Hope that makes a bit of sense. Personally, I don't use a Trek because I need more graft, more work from all over the place, but it's one I'm going to start to look at for FM21 when I can't break teams down because they're hard to follow, they're hard to track. Being a free spirit, it might be a little creative link in here for the last 15, 20 minutes or so. So that's our Trek roundup. Hope you found it interesting. It's certainly an interesting position and role to use. I do think there's a space for it in the game, but it's a tricky one to make work, especially in the modern day with all the pressing formations, but it might be a position to think of coming off the bench, or if you're a big team against a smaller team struggling to break them down, it might be an option. So your key attributes, there's an absolute shed load you can look for, basically all your technical ones and your mentals about the attacking theory of the game. But the main ones for me will be your dribbling, your finishing, breaking into that final third, what can they do from there? Now as you saw in the examples, a lot of the action will take place outside of the box, just outside, so you're going to be looking for the dribbling outside the box, you're going to be looking for passing and the vision to find that through ball, flair, decisions, making the right pass, the technique comes into it 100% because they're going to be your main focal point, your main attacking outlet. Absolutely, totally disregard work rate, teamwork, stamina, because they're not going to use it. That's not what they're there for. So I hope you found that useful. It's an interesting role, for sure. If we can get that working in FM21, I'd love to hear about it, so let me know. There's another Know Your Role. More coming soon.